welcome to gyan laboratory today in this tutorial i am going to show how to integrate health kit framework in is application to fetch latest heart rate or uh, other fitness data from the health app so let's move before creating a uh, demo projects uh, let's create a bundle id i already create a bundle id so when you create a bundle id just add a health kit in a app create app id configurations so let's uh, move uh, i already created a project over here i add i uh, added a capabilities health kit and uh, it automatically add a health kit framework in a project so i'm going to i'm going my uh, i have iphone 6 with me from this iphone i'm going to fetch the latest heart rate uh, I have iPhone, iPhone 6 doesn't support iOS 13 so I need to change iOS 13 to iOS 11 uh, I think it will give an error because uh, uh, there is a scheme, scene delicate swift file which support only iOS 13 you can see lots of error up here so to get rid of, to get, uh, get rid of this error you just need to uh, give a volatility over here that's it even there is a delicate functions Uh, you need to write a window over here because uh, if we when we run applications it will throw an error okay so we declare a window over here your uh, conditions so now it's ready to run in my iphone application it will run in my iphone so first we need to ask the permissions uh, one thing is that we need to add property list in info playlist uh, there is a two key available one is the uh, ns health update users descriptions uh, which uh, we need to which we need to add a message over here which uh, uh, we user can see for what purpose we are asking we are using the health kit yeah the second thing is ns health share user descriptions so don't forget to add this uh, property key list key in info playlist I already added both key and with the message so you can add any message in this hearted from the applications health kit first we need to ask the permission uh, from the user to allow to fetch the data from the health kit so let's do first one oh, let's create an object function authorize help kit You can see uh, they are uh, providing the function called request operations where we need to pass a share uh, sets sample type and uh, object type means what we need to uh, get, uh, what we what record we need from the health kit so uh, I today we are doing a heart rate so I will fetch I will ask for the heart rate from the HK health store Okay. If you want more than one heart rate, so we can also do like comma and uh, fetch another. Uh, we can ask for other requests like uh, uh, total number of steps, uh, now running data, walking heart rates, and all that.
back past it. So let me show you You can see uh, as we ask for the heart rate, so it is uh, opening the UI of health kit and uh, allow asking the permissions. So just give the permission and allow. You can see permission is granted. Now let's fetch the heart rate, the latest heart rate. Uh, the, the heart rate we will not get from the simulator, so I will run in my iPhone. And that heart rate is being inserted in the health kit using my Apple Watch. So let's find out the latest heart rate. So let's test the heart rate. I will use the HK sample query. Uh, the HK sample query will uh, fetch all the records from the health kit store and uh, give it to us. Just we need to pass some parameter with it. Let me show you what kind of parameter uh, HK sample query needed. You can see a HK sample type predicate so description all this uh, parameter we need to pass within it now in H in sample type we, what uh, what we need from the hk uh, from health kit store so we need heart rate so I'll just copy this Okay, we pass the sample type. Let's uh, create predicate. You can see uh, we need to pass the started and date. So what I will do, I will uh, fetch one month record of heart rate. Within a one month of record, I will fetch the last first record. So in first record. Uh, uh, will be my latest heart rate so let's create start it calendar dot current dot date by adding month minus one from today's date so start date will be 27 march and date will be 27 april that is today and strict and dates so we have done the predicate pass it the predicate over here so in limit so we will set no limit query no limit now let's define the sort description so to get the latest record i need to uh, query but in order in descending order so let's do sort descriptor so 
I will sort with the start date and, and ascending will be false so it will return in descending order sample uh, it will be result if, if there is error then it will show an error now let's manage error so it won't get crash let me show you what kind of result it come from my phone I will, oh just a second I just need to call the method Mm, one more thing I for, one more thing I forget I need to execute this query so if we don't do this it will not ex, it will not execute this query and we, we will not get any result now it's uh, done and let's run and sh let me show you what kind of result uh, the help kit gave it to us Now permission is granted. Let me show you what result uh, the, uh, the my help kit is giving us. Okay, uh, in last in this month I have sixteen records in my help kit. So this this is returning in the form of sample. You can see uh, they are showing 91 heart bits per minute, and the late date is 24 April. So we need the latest one because this one at 4 5 p.m. and the when second record is at 4 p.m. So this record we need to fetch and it is returning the form of HK quantity sample. So let's uh, do it. Vector data is equal to result 0 as we have seen that returning in the HK quantity sample. So just, uh, just cascade this. Uh, you have seen uh, you can see uh, it is returning in the form of count per minute unit so we need to define it that unit so in which unit we need to find which key unit count per minute okay now get now fetch latest HR data dot quantity quantity dot Double value uh, we need in count per minute. A print test heart rate. Char BPM bits per minute. Okay. Now uh, at what we can also fetch the start date and end date. So let's uh, do it. Date parameter date parameter so date parameter dot formats 
which format I need that it dd mm by byte that's it mm in seconds okay let's start date date parameter dot string uh, data dot start with same thing we can find the end date also so this this will return 91 counts per minute sorry i think it's date format it will return 91 counts per minute start date will return uh, this 122 april at 4 pm 4 5 pm and it will return 24 april 4 5 pm 21 seconds let print this also Let's run it. No, you can see we uh, we uh, we get we are successful in finding the latest heart rate. The latest heart rate is 91 bits per minute. Uh, it, uh, the day heart rate was at date 24 April 4405 4, p.m. and end date was 405 p.m. Same thing. So uh, we uh, we are successful in finding the latest heart rate. So if you want uh, this to implement in applications in your project, you can do this. Uh, just uh, just make one uh, method over here and uh, just pass it over there. Make a common thing where you, you can find out the heart rate, sample heart rate. Uh, if you want to find the, the what we say uh, steps in a day, total steps you walk, uh, upstairs, flight, everything whatever they are inside the health store we can fetch it in our application using this method so if you like this video please like it and subscribe it in less next video i will show you how to fetch the steps counts flight and all that from the health store so please subscribe it and uh, thank you very much for this bye bye